to you by Wilner and O'Reilly. Immigration solutions in Utah and abroad at wilneroreilly.com. We've played 90 minutes here in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. The first of two NCAA Women's Soccer Tournament second round games. With Georgia and North Carolina waiting for this one to finish, we know we will have at least 20 more minutes of soccer. 1-1 is our score through 90. No scoring in the second half. BYU scored way back in the fourth minute. Olivia Wade, Jas- Jasmine Ike for Stanford scoring in the 22nd. We've stayed that way 1-1 since. Stanford has had enough of the ball to put 29 shots out there, but their shot quality has uh, has varied throughout the match with only eight shots on frame. BYU making the most of it 16, putting eight on frame. Corners have gone to Stanford 11-5, to five, and the Cardinal had a lot of good looks late in that first half. Late in that second half, beg your pardon, could not find the back of the net. So we go to two 10-minute overtime periods in the past. This would be golden goal, meaning sudden death. If there's a goal in either of the first ten, in, the, in either of the 10-minute periods, it's over. But now they'll play a full 20 minutes. 10 in each overtime. If the game is still tied, penalty kicks. BYU last played overtime in the national championship match of 2021. And that was a golden goal scenario. 0-0 with Florida State. Went to PKs and the Seminoles won the national title in PKs. Before that, BYU to get to the national title game in the national semis played Stanford to a 110-minute draw and won that match in PKs. So here we go. BYU and Stanford. Stanford defends the goal to my left and takes it left to right. BYU defends the goal to my right, comes right to left. And Stanford gets the first touch. We are underway in overtime. We play full 20 minutes. No golden goal, no sudden death. If someone scores, we play on. A back heel by Grubel, picked off by Olivia Smith, finds Olivia Wade, finds Ellie Mon, and the Cougs possess, and they foul. Mon fouls at roughly 40 yards from goal. So not a super dangerous opportunity here, but the Cardinal can put this in the mixer. Greg Rubel with you here in Chapel Hill, flying solo today. My broadcast partner and new mom, Rachel Manning-Jorgensen, back home following along. A lofted ball from Leontini. A swing and a miss on a toe poke from Doms, and it bounces harmlessly to keeper Savannah Mason. Punted away by Savannah. BYU will punt it. Stanford will not. And the Cougs end up with it. With Olivia Wade in the attacking half. 1-1. You're in the first of two 10-minute overtime periods. We're in the 92nd minute. Mon right to Mozingo. Mozingo. McCarthy. McCarthy across from the right. It's going to roll all the way to the left side of the pitch, through the 18, to the boundary, and out for a Stanford throw in. So Stanford throws, but about five yards from its end line. Rubenstein gets ready to put the ball in play. The two-hander off of Engie. Engie, Williams, Williams, Ike outside of her boot, back to Williams, but too heavy on it. And Stratton comes away with a good win by Stratton at the halfway line with Ike approaching. Oh, a trip up of Mozingo. It's a foul on Doms. Oh, she knew she did it too. She's frustrated as the Cougars now win a free kick from 40. We're in the opening minutes of the first overtime. We're in the 93rd. And Brecken Mozingo's got a free kick, a set piece from about maybe 35 to 38, more than 40 here. We'll call it 40. Mozingo, a left foot approach, hammers it. And right into the midsection of keeper Ryan Campbell. Ranging to her right, makes the catch in frame. And will roll it out to her left back. Again, she just does not punt the ball. Rolls everything out to a back. Long ball from that left back. Over the head of Ike. It's a loose ball. Won by BYU at the halfway line. Cardinal win it back. Ike now. A drop off to Engi. Engi. Looking to send Williams deep. Flag stays down. Williams goes deep on Mason. The ball is deflected by Mason. Out! As Williams goes down and the Cougs win the ball. Wade into the attacking half. Looking to send Foligno through. Too heavy. Williams. I beg your pardon. Evans boot to boot to her keeper Campbell. Settled by Olivia Wade near the center circle. Savannah Mason. Great play coming out of her box. 
with Williams and the flag down. Try to get out of the end of the through ball in the opening moments of the first overtime. 94th minute, 1-1, BYU and Stanford. Cougs possess in the attacking half. Mozingo, wide left to space. Zoe Jacobs at left back. Plays Mon at withdrawn left. Mon wins the ball centrally. Ellie Mon from 30 yards, shoots a deflected ball. Will bounce to the keeper, Campbell. And she gets ready to distribute again. 1-1 in the first of two overtimes. Two 10-minute overtime periods played to their entirety whether or not goals are scored. Stratton, Felino, Felino turns to face. Felino, centrally McCarthy a step-up win. A good steal of the central pass by Brandt. Engie, and now Doms. Maya Doms on the ground to Williams. Williams tries to win it past Jacobs. No, Jacobs gets a touch and plays it boot to boot to her keeper, Savannah Mason. Savannah, or Stanford's high pressure is very tired. BYU's high pressure is very energized, and it's been that way all game. Jen Rockwood asks a lot of her forwards, and they've been delivering here today. Stanford applies what we call token pressure. A wide right ball to Rubenstein. Long ball right, no one home, but Leveni Vaca. She plays Jacobs. Jacobs at left back. Centrally to Izzy Stratton. Stratton, Mozingo, and here come the Cougs on the counter. Mozingo, center circle. Doms stumbling. Mozingo passing. Wide right, Liv Smith. Centrally, Felino. Felino, good shield and turn. Bella Felino to 30 yards. Bella is challenged by Doms. Doms is hurt, and Doms goes down, and Stanford needs Doms. The whistle's not blown. Doms stays down. BYU in possession, and now will we see a whistle. We get it now. Maya Doms is down. And the Cardinals have already lost their center back, Kennedy Wesley. Will they now lose their fine midfielder, Maya Doms? Doms, four goals, four assists, and as importantly, she's a PK specialist. Two for two on PKs on the year. If they were to lose her now, and this game were to go to the spot, her absence would be greatly felt. Logan Smith is in on a sub for Stanford, taking out... Samantha Williams, and staying in the match will be Maya Doms. Doms is going to keep going. This ball will be dropped. The clock's been stopped in the 96th minute. 1-1. Unless things turn around dramatically here, BYU will be outshot for the first time all season. They're being outshot 29-18. But to what end? BYU's had more shots on goal. 10-8 in BYU's favor. Again, that speaks to the desperation of the higher seed Stanford. They've been sending a lot of shots out there, but not a lot on frame. They're just kind of swinging for the fences. And that's what you see. The favored team, the national powerhouse name, the three-time national champion Stanford Cardinal getting all the want from BYU as Grubel approaches the left side of the 18, gets into the 18, tapped away by BYU on the end line, and nicely done by the Cougs to keep it in play and then play off the Cardinal for a Cougar goal kick. BYU's advanced past the second round seven times. So seven times to at least the Sweet 16. Four Elite Eights. One College Cup turning into one national championship match. BYU has Mozingo in space, a lot of space. Mozingo's at 50, Mozingo's at 40. A pass at 30 to Felino. Felino into the area, cutting it to her left. A shot from Bella. It's actually a cross that goes over the head of Rachel McCarthy and over the byline for a goal kick for the Cardinal in the 97th. Three minutes and change remain in the first overtime. Should we stay tied through two overtimes, we go to the spot. The last time BYU was there, the Cougs had heartbreak in the national championship match last December in Santa Clara. High pressure from the Cougs. And the giveaway, high pressure forces a giveaway again. Zoe Jacobs has a cross blocked by Logan Smith and out. A BYU throw. Stanford throws as the official. BYU fans disagree. Engie off the inbound. Rubenstein blasted off of Ellie Mon out. Rubenstein will do it again. Throw in for the Cardinal to my left. As the Cardinal go left to right, they're in their defensive half. 
Now to the 98th minute. First of two overtimes. A mishit throw off the throw from Ike, and the, car, and the Cougars come away with it. Stanford playing back heel as that long ball left is collected by Rachel McCarthy outside the left side of the penalty area. McCarthy sets up Mon near the near side boundary. The play is Jacobs. Jacobs on the floor. Wade. Wade, a turn and go. Rolls it to Shepard. Shepard putting it to her left. Clears space to Jacobs. Jacobs at 30 yards. Deep cross from the left. Blocked by Logan Smith. And now Smith's on the run the other way. Logan Smith racing down the right flank. And back checking to Zoe Jacobs. Smith will play it toward the 18. Skips to Ike. Ike gets deep in the area. But Stratton is there to save it for BYU. And keep it in play on the byline. Wonderful play by the Cougs freshman center back. Izzy Stratton. It's a loose ball. That swung on. And just what is Leontini doing? shooting from 30 yards, about 20 yards left of the goalpost. And that's been Stanford today. Just swinging and missing. That's shot number 30 for the Cardinal with only eight on frame. A battle for the ball. Brant wins to Leontini. Leontini, wide right Ike. Ike outside the penalty area, lets it roll toward the attacking right flag, stops it, now faces the box. And lays off Smith. Smith back to Ike. Still outside the penalty area right side. Ike hard toward the goal line. And a poke over the byline by Leveni Vaca. And Ike is slow to get up. And she's not going to continue. She rolls to her backside and she is down. Another Stanford player injured. Kennedy Wesley, the most serious, left the match, never returned. And now Jasmine Ike rolls to her backside in the penalty area. And is yet to get up. Now she goes to her feet and will hobble into position for this corner. The clock did stop. We're in the 99th minute. A corner coming for the Cardinal from the attacking right flag. So Julia Leontini will take the corner. It'll be a left-footed in-swinger. And the clock's yet to be restarted. 1.13 remaining in the first overtime. Drops the arm. Boots the ball. Far post, defensive header, down, ball loose, Wade clears it. Olivia Wade just launches it to the halfway line. One minute remaining here in the first overtime. One minute in a 1-1 game. One minute remaining. Ike back heels it. Cheeky play, but too slow for Leontini to run up on, and BYU possesses from the back line. Zoe Jacobs plays to the halfway line. Brant will nod down. Mon will run to it. Engie will come away with it, and she'll give it away. Just gave it straight away to Leveni Vaca. Lava down the boundary. Shoulder charged by Engie, who falls down on the attempt. Ball loose to McCarthy, left side of the penalty area. Rachel McCarthy into the 18. McCarthy putting it to her right. Last touch gave it away. But it rolls right to Jamie Shepard. Shepard, a shot from 25, and it is wide right. With 15 seconds remaining in the first overtime, looking like double OT here at UNC. We'll take a two-minute break in 10 seconds. That's going to do it. We are through the first overtime. 1-1. We're back in two minutes with the second overtime. BYU and Stanford tied at one after this on the new skin, BYU Sports Network.